everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do my 22 week uh, pregnancy update. Now, um, as you can probably tell, it's quite dark because <laughs> it is around seven o'clock um, in the evening. Um, I've just got William to bed because he was yawning his little head off, bless him. He's had a swim swimming lesson today, so I thought I would get him to bed half an hour earlier than usual. And Mark is at the football, so I'm kind of on my own now. And I'm actually 22 weeks today, so I thought, like, instead of wait waiting until the weekend when I'll be, like, much closer to 23 weeks, I'd film it tonight. So I'm sorry if, like, A, it's a bit dark and a bit spooky or anything like that. Like that but this is what we're going to work with um so i've written notes because i'm trying to like make sure that these are as interesting as possible which is a little bit hard because i find the second trimester quite similar in in ways like you do get bigger but it's not like that final countdown and it's not as maybe symptomatic as the first trimester um but yeah i i have felt a bit funny this past week though sorry heartburn and like gas is just taken over and that's probably my first symptom it's just getting worse and worse to the point where at the moment like the heartburn isn't really painful or isn't causing me too many problems but it is coming with a lot of like gas and kind of reflux feelings which are uh, it's really annoying um and that is definitely my life at the moment. And I feel like it's having an effect on my appetite in general. Like one of the things I've written down on my phone is that my appetite is really gone and I'm struggling to feel hungry, which is a first. And that is really, really true. Like I just, um, for example, on the Sunday, William was at a rare Sunday with his dad. Um, he's normally, he normally goes to his dad for two days during the like, working week rather than at the weekend the weekend tends to be our time with him and um so i said to mark right i'll make you a steak because i know he loves like having a steak and i made dauphinoise potatoes and i did like tender stem broccoli and asparagus and sprouts because i love them but like there was this massive steak on my plate and i like took one mouthful and i just couldn't eat it i just was really put off by it and the one thing i wanted more than anything was actually my veg um and i just really didn't enjoy it and i just remember sitting there thinking gosh what a waste like i put so much effort in and i'm just really not feeling it and my appetite's all over the place like sometimes i'm really hungry but i can't think of anything to eat which is really weird like i, I sit there and i'm like right you're hungry you're starving what do you want to eat and then um, my tummy's like mm, i'm not sure so that's a little bit annoying um but yeah i've definitely gone off meat like i'm not really a fan of like steak i'm not really a fan of like chicken um i'm still quite into pig though like bacon is Bacon's working for me as a sausage and I'm going to my mum's on Sunday for a Christmas ham so I'm sure that that will be nice as well but yeah it's, it's just a weird one and like I'm just I feel really fussy and like unsatisfied by food which like you know is rare for me um as well like this week I don't know if I am getting poorly again because I do feel like I'm getting like quite sinusy and I've got really like itchy sore tired eyes but I am finding it really, really difficult. It's only Tuesday to like, you know, get out of bed. I, it's Tuesday and I've still got like three days left in work this week before the weekend and I've still got three days in work next week until Christmas. And I'm exhausted. I, hands down, I'm absolutely exhausted. The journey is killing me at the moment. Um, sometimes we drive in which takes at least an hour and then sometimes we get the train but from door to door on the train it still takes an hour um and it's just it's a lot of time like two hours out of my day when i could be like resting or taking it a little bit so it's really really it, making me struggle and i'm finding it dead hard um i just like you know when you wake up in the morning you literally can't get out of bed like i'm sleeping through alarms and really pushing it fine but I'm knackered and I don't know if it's a like developmental stage where she's really juicing me and growing loads so that's having an effect on me or if it's just that whole like I know Christmas is next week and I know I haven't got long left and 
I can't work out which one it is. I'm really hoping that I'm not poorly again, at least, anyway. But I am absolutely shattered this week. <laughs> um, it was our work Christmas do on Friday, and normally the work Christmas do is probably the one time of the year where I go on, you know, a night out, as in, like, I go out, out. <laughs> and you know I'm I'm 27 I'm 28 in January and I, I don't feel like I've got that many years left of going out out <laughs> and it was really hard because we went out and normally like we go for a meal as a big group and then we go for a few drinks and then we might even go to a club where I drop it like it's hot and stuff but this year obviously I didn't and after sitting at my desk all day and then working and up until like we left pretty much and then going to sit at a like restaurant table for the evening and my back was killing me and I felt like such a cliche pregnant woman. I was drinking mocktails which was some sweet relief and did make me feel a little bit special but I felt really like left out and my colleagues like didn't do it intentionally. It's not their fault like they deserve to have a nice time but for me it was just a write off like I was really tired and I just felt boring and I felt like my banter was lacking because I didn't have any like alcohol to fuel me like everyone else did and it just it was yeah and it's sad really because it shouldn't be like that but at this time of year yeah I love mulled wine I want to drink Bucks Fizz I want to drink Prosecco last year I had like six bottles of Prosecco ready for Christmas and this year I've got like lime and soda and I'm trying to find that special Ribena that tastes like mulled wine but I can't find it anywhere yet so I sent my mum on a hunt for it if she finds it she's gonna get me some um so yeah I do feel a little bit like ugh. and unfortunately my birthday is exactly a month after Christmas and with William's pregnancy and this pregnancy I've been pregnant over both of them so it's really annoying um I'm not a huge drinker I would only ever really have a drink at the weekend anyway I don't drink during the weekdays um but it's just been a little bit like hard am I allowed to say that without thinking you're you thinking I'm a raging alcoholic because I'm not I just miss having a drink and I miss like the celebration and the festivity of it but you know it's absolutely worth it and next Christmas I'm gonna probably have like an eight or nine month old little baby girl to share it with us as well and I know it'll be brilliant and I know it's like it's one more Christmas do you know what I mean but I do feel a bit like grumbly about it and I'm one of those that does go cold turkey really over Christmas like I I just don't find that I can drink and feel good about it even if it's one glass here or there I still feel a little bit guilty so it's just not for me um like nice stuff is um maternity clothing actually I'm wearing something that um I've been sent I'm like over on my blog and I might even do a lookbook actually give me a thumbs up or a comment down below if you'd like me to do a pregnancy lookbook which is probably going to be really unattractive but I'll try um but I've been sent like a few items from George I've got another batch uh come in hopefully this week because I sent a few bits back because they were too big for me but I've been really enjoying them I've only had them a couple of days and this is my favorite top I'll stand up and show you and it's really basic but I think when you're pregnant you can't go wrong with stripes in my opinion but I just really love the fit of this so it is I don't know if you can see can you see yeah I think you can um it's just this top and it's got like three quarter length sleeves and it's got a really really nice balanced stripe on it um, and it's black and white and I've been wearing it with maternity leggings which I've also got on which are like comfier than life itself and just like some boots and I find it really really comfortable I don't know I just and I think it enhances my bump and makes my bump look good in a good way which is quite nice um so I'm looking forward to like dressing a bump now and embracing my bump rather than hiding it under jumpers which is essentially what I've been doing um and that was really nice anyway so the next thing I'm on the hunt for is like a changing bag now. Like I asked on my Facebook page the other day like which ones people recommended and people recommended like about 50. So that hasn't really narrowed it down for me. Um, I had a Yummy Mummy changing bag with William 
but it is really battered um just because it's been away on holiday with us and it's been like through like three households because obviously William goes here there and everywhere and stuff and it's the sort of bag that I would take baby girls clothes to hospital in and I don't really want to take one that's like that would be to a hospital with her first clothes in and I want to kind of treat myself as well because I'm having an actual maternity leave this this time around not just eight weeks with my baby I'm having like nine months so I would like a nice bag and I'm gonna get one I just don't know which one I'm gonna get yet because there's just way too many um and yeah that's it really it's like now we're coming up to Christmas um we are hoping to get her bedroom sorted with furniture at some point and decorated and um, we've got to decorate William's bedroom as well um and our bedroom because she's going to be sleeping in there and we've got to finish the kitchen and then I think after that we'll probably call it a day for a little bit but yeah that is is kind of everything really i think i've covered everything and rambled for 11 minutes it says which is good going um i know i've shown you my bump anyway in this top but i will show you again just in case um maybe i'll get the belly out who knows but i do feel like i have grown this week mark was like you really look pregnant and he started like stroking my belly and stuff and like I think that he likes it I don't know it's just it's nice when you get to that bigger stage and your other half is really able to like join in the pregnancy with you and like see your belly and feel baby and we're still on a quest for him to get some proper big big kicks um because she like all babies at this stage will only kick when my hand's on my belly and then the minute it moves and I put his hand on she's like oh no I'm not here sorry I'm out washing my hair um so yeah I, I'm gonna stop rambling okay, it's at 12 minutes now and I will show you my belly so um I thought I'd stand back a little bit so you can see me in proper proportion let me pull this into my boobs so that is is my belly really and like these are the maternity jeans so you can see like belly is growing and stretching and looking very delightful and big and stretch marks are I've got no new ones but I do have a really itchy belly um but all my old ones are stretching out again and I didn't realize like how big they used to be um because like on my flatter stomach um they'd like kind of shrunk and you couldn't really see them as much but now they're like reminding me of how much I hated them so that my friends is my belly and maternity le leggings are the best thing in the world it would seem so yeah that is everything um thank you so much for watching let me know about the lookbook and leave any recommendations for changing bags down below and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye